Well, I knew that Grand Valley's program was definitely up and coming. It was continuously growing. We provide a tremendous education for the students that's focused on having them ready for the real world. Well, the biggest difference between Grand Valley and many other engineering programs is the hands-on nature, the tie to the community. Dean Paul Plutkowski has watched enrollment climb. Some of the credit goes to top-rate facilities. When the Keller Engineering Labs opened in 2000, enrollment jumped to more than 500. Now with the promise of a new building, about 700 students enrolled in 2005. I thought that was great. The rest of the credit goes to top-rate faculty, leadership, and community partnerships. Grand Valley's out front. The partnership with industry, the partnership with the community, that is a natural thing for an engineering school to do but most aren't able to go there. We have a unique kind of institution that allows us to have those kinds of partnerships and our focus on the teaching of the students rather than more of a research model allows us to do that. They're definitely a great faculty, um, definitely very diverse, you know, fun to work with. Between the class sizes and how many times you get to work with the professors, you definitely get to know them and you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. You know, they have a lot of office hours, which we, we visit frequently. Engineering students like action. They like to build and use their hands. I would definitely just stress the hands-on experience, you know. I mean, you can't learn by reading a textbook or watching someone else do it. You have to do it for yourself. You get that option here. We have a lot of labs. We have a lot of projects that students work on. And to me, that's the exciting part is when you're actually building something. In a lot of engineering programs in other schools, they don't actually do the building part but you complete it when you actually build something. That's when you find out all the things that go wrong with it and you do all the troubleshooting and, and so on. And we have a lot of projects like that. They learn from failures right along with successes. The Cooperative Education Program, experience within local companies, is woven with classroom work right through the junior and senior years. Which this turbine is unique in that it is the only turbine in the world that doesn't require an external braking system. The senior design projects done each year are for companies involved in this co-op program. It was definitely a great experience. Um, I got to do a lot of programming for them as well as working with circuits and writing test procedures and performing the tests and just a very, very broad spectrum that, you know, I definitely learned a lot from. And it was too cold up there to sleep anyway. They also learn in the community, in the heart of the community. Well, all of that is just a part of responsible citizenship. And responsible citizenship means that you look out and you say, what needs to be done? And am I the right person to do it? Professor Shirley Fleischman spearheads projects within the neighborhood surrounding Grand Valley's downtown campus. What better way to learn about heat transfer than to go to an older, uninsulated home owned by the Other Way Ministries? The home, which they insulated, provided the students with a real life example of calculating heat loss and the heart-wrenching example of seeing how some lower-income people pay exorbitant heating bills while still shivering. The people at the university could become role models, but somehow we have to walk on the same paths that they walk. We can't just have our community, our little academic community, isolated from our neighborhood. We actually have to go out, make the neighborhood people feel comfortable here and, and bring them in, invite them in. The classroom lessons are mandatory, but Fleischman says the field work is completely voluntary and she has no shortage of willing participants. Okay. So you can Especially when the engineering students work with children from Sibley Elementary on the southwest side of Grand Rapids. Each semester, the Grand Valley students invite Sibley fifth graders into the engineering labs for an event exposing them to a university and to the dream of a college education. If we could fix all of these bikes. The engineering students also take in used bikes, fix them up, and donate them to a child who wants to fly on two wheels but doesn't have them. The Bikes for Kids Service Learning Project has been adopted as a national model by the National Engineering Honor Society. I think our students are going to be broader because they will have had these community service experiences and at the same time used the knowledge that they got in their classes 
and sometimes in ways that they didn't expect they were going to. The Grand Valley Engineering students sign an honor card that pledges integrity and honesty. The program stresses those virtues right along with a strict academic curriculum and work experience that yields extraordinary results. For hydraulic yes. Grand Valley Engineering students have a 100% placement rate every year. 96 to 100% of Grand Valley students pass the Fundamental of Engineering exam each year. The national rate hovers around 70%. An investment in the Padnos College of Engineering and Computing is solid and far-reaching for students and for the entire state of Michigan. There's a great diversification happening in West Michigan. We still are a very strong manufacturing base, but we have much more activity going on that requires more technical skills in electrical engineering and computer engineering and new product and advanced product design. And the new facility is going to allow us to expand our offerings in those areas to respond to those needs of the community as well. With this new building, all it's going to do is create more opportunities for Grand Valley. I mean, this lab in itself, you know, it's definitely become our home away from home. And, you know, I mean, obviously technology is something that continuously grows and expands and changes and now we'll be able to keep up with that pace even better. I think the support from the state is just beyond expectation. Being able to do it now when the state is struggling is in part a response to the needs of the state and helping address the needs that we have, but at the same time I think it speaks volumes about the support for higher education and for Grand Valley and being able to take this step.